welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my new shoes that I got and I literally had to film this video right away because I was obsessed the second I opened the box so I just wanted to share my excitement and love of these heels with you guys. So that's what I have going on today a little review and showcasing these fun heels. I was just absolutely beyond obsessed with these things when I opened the box. So I'm going to be sharing with you my new designer heels that I purchased and a little about what I think of them and the design structure and the fit. So I got the Amina Milati Gilda Glass Transparent Heels. These things are just absolutely stunning. I love them so much. The official term, the official term on the box, these are the PVC AM Transparent Sandal, Gilda Glass Sandal. And that's really, they don't really divulge in further details on the actual box. These are from season 22. Let's open the box and check them out. The heel is a 100 millimeter heel or 105 millimeter. I can put that in the description below, the specific heel height and dimensions and all of that. On another note, I am absolutely obsessed with the rose blush color of Let's not, let's not make them fall out of the box. So I am obsessed with the, the blush color of the dust bag. I think it is so beautiful. Here is the heel in all its glory. Just so stunning. And of course we have the other one. I originally saw these heels on um, one of my uh, favorite fashion influencers and content creators to follow and I kept seeing her wear these heels and I just fell in love with them and I was obsessed and so I finally purchased these shoes for my birthday. My birthday is actually this month so I decided to treat myself to the shoes that I was eyeballing. I mean, these shoes are just literally so stunning. I love the craftsmanship, the structure. I think that the crystals are just so beautiful. I love that the heel is transparent. These are kind of like a Cinderella heel. And I love that they're just so stunning. Definitely not the most inexpensive shoes ever, but these are definitely, definitely worth it in my opinion. It's, it's fun to treat yourself to a beautiful designer shoe every once in a while, so I'm so happy to add these to my shoe wardrobe and to my collection of designer heels. These are definitely <laughs> moving over some of my other favorite designer heels to make room for these ones. I love, love, love. If you can see, there are crystals that go right up the back of the heel and all the way around the top. And there are three little bands that will go across your foot. These are made in Italy. So these are European sizing. So I was looking at these and I was also looking at the ones that are leather because these are PVC and I was very hesitant to think about ordering the PVC because I was just very concerned with the wear, how long they would last, the structure. And um, I also was looking at the silver leather and the silver leather has like the leather that wraps all the way around the heel and the straps are leather underneath the crystals and that this one is PVC on the back side. So I was very hesitant 
but I just really liked the look of having the clear. It was just a little bit more of like a Cinderella type of a party fun shoe, and I thought that having the clear base would kind of go with more fancy dresses, fancy outfits, and those, that kind of thing. So, to my surprise, I have to say that the, the PVC is actually very sturdy. So if you're on the fence because you're unsure about PVC, I honestly wouldn't be that worried about it. I was very concerned, but now after um, actually feeling them, holding them, they are pretty structured. This is a very heavy duty PVC. And it, I mean, these, these crystals don't really feel like they're going anywhere. And I know I've heard a lot of people who own Amina Mawadi shoes that the, they say the crystals will fall off easy. And I was also concerned getting them because people were saying that, but I am holding these and they feel so sturdy. Like I could see how if you are walking and you end up like smacking your foot into something or a rock or I don't know, you trip over yourself and fall. Like, yes, I think that you could lose a crystal or two, but I feel like that could be really any shoe, not necessarily these ones. I also, I just noticed that, okay, you probably can't, I don't think you can, I don't know if you can see this or not. So where the crystals are sewed onto the PVC, they are in fact um, stitch on there. They are actually on leather on the PVC. So there is leather behind the crystals on top of the PVC. If I push this close, the strap, it actually does not push that far in. It's giving me resistance right about here. So these are a very structured shoe. So if you're wondering if they're gonna fly off, they're gonna break, they're actually pretty, pretty sturdy, which I'm actually very impressed with and I'm very thankful because I want to have these for a long time and wear them for a long time. I don't want them to lose crystals and break and all of that. But I do have, if you have a good shoe cobbler local to your area and they do damage, I'm sure that, you know, a shoe, a good shoe cobbler in your area could repair them if necessary. Okay. So about, about these, they do have a leather lining and I do love Amina Mawadi's leather lining. The color is just a very natural color. And the base, the bottom of them is the same color as well. It's just very iconic to her and the, the sewing of the leather is just very nice. The craftsmanship is very high quality. I love it. There's a little padding in the heel. Um, they, this is a patent leather um, finish on the shoe toe box area. And it has not a, a little bit of a not octagon, but a rectangle toe, not pointed, it is not round. So it adds a little bit more of a fun element to the shoe. About the sizing of these, I was also a little concerned with the sizing on these, uh, just because I hear they run true to size, I also hear they run small. So I was very nervous to order the size that I ordered. I am a US 8. Depending on the shoe overall, I pretty much am a pretty standard US size eight. I very rarely will do an eight and a half or a seven and a half US. I will depending on how the shoe is made, but overall eight is pretty standard for me. My foot size also, I'm not, I don't have a super wide foot and I don't have like the tiniest, most narrow foot ever, but I would say that I overall have a more narrow footbed than super wide. So just for a little context, I would consider my foot to be more narrow than wide. I don't have a wide foot at all. I got these in a 38.5 
European. So these are made in Italy and they go by uh, Italian slash European shoe sizing. My typical European shoe size is 39. So in like red bottoms, I'm like a 39, depending on how the shoe is made. Um, the Socates, I'm a 39. The, the Ariza, I'm actually a 38 and a half. Um, I could actually probably wear a 38 in those. It just really depends on the leather, if it's patent leather, regular leather, and the actual style, because all the shoe styles run a little bit different. So with the Gilda, the, a lot of people were saying that these run true to size. And I actually got, I got these in a 38 and a half. So it was a half size bigger than my normal US size and a half size smaller than my normal European size. So these run in European sizes. So when I ordered the 38 and a half, I was thinking, okay, well maybe it's like a good middle road between my US size and my European size. So I was nervous that, well, people said it runs true to size. So I figured, well, if I get a 38, you know, what about the people who are saying they run a little bit smaller? And of course this is Italian shoe sizing. So that's European and mine is a 39. So then I was worried that if I got my true size in European, it would be too big. So I am here to say that the 38 and a half actually fits me perfectly. So it fits me perfectly and I have a little bit of room in the top of the toe box area. So you want your shoes to fit where when you put them on, you have about a half an inch right here between your toe and the end of the shoe. That's how a, technically a good shoe should fit or a heel. Some people, of course, personal preference, you might not like that, but I'm okay with that just because if you're walking around for a while, you're standing in these, you have an event, whatever, your foot wearing heels, your foot naturally will swell a little bit. So I always like to have like just a teeny little bit of room in the top because you don't want to have your feet or your toes falling over the edge because that just really is not cute. So I got these in a 38 and a half. My normal shoe size is a US 8, which is of course a 38 in Italian shoe sizing. And I got a 38 and a half. So technically I so I sized up a half size. So glad I did. These fit perfectly. And I also will say that the front part right here, this is actually very sturdy once you have this on your foot. So this, this part and this are very sturdy. You do not have to worry about your foot sliding far forward or anything like these will hold your feet in. And also there is a on the middle strap, there is actually a stretchable leather piece right here. So it stretches a little bit uh, to conform to your foot. It also helps you get the shoe on and it just makes for a really seamless fit overall. I am just obsessed. So beautiful. I am obsessed with them. So the one other thing I will say about sizing, I think if I did a 38, I feel like they might be, they would still fit, but I think that they would be a little too snug for my liking, especially right here on the top toe area. So I think sizing up half size is a good idea in these. They fit me perfect to half size up. I could also have done a 39 and they also would have fit just fine. So if you're on the fence about it, I would say size up a half size. You can't go wrong with that. They will fit beautifully. You can also do a full size up and these will also fit. So I can, I could have done a 30, 38 and a half fits me perfect. A 39 also would have fit perfectly well. So we love the Gilda Cinderella glass sandal slipper. 
so gorgeous. We're just beyond obsessed. So if you have been wanting to try these, let me know if you have these, if you're on the fence about buying them. I literally am just obsessed. I can't even say obsessed enough. Like, what am I looking at? I will show you what these look like on my feet and I will definitely show you what these look like on. These are so stunning. If you follow me, you will see these a lot more in my content with fancy outfits and dresses. Literally love these so much. They are, they make me so happy. Happy birthday to myself. <laughs> so these are definitely one of my new favorite designer heels. Thank you guys, of course, for being here. If you love this type of content, please let me know, like it, subscribe to me if you wanna see more videos on fashion, beauty, if you love luxury items like I do, you love fancy, high quality craftsmanship, I'm here to share my love of these things with you and also find other people who love the same things along the way as I do. So thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you soon.